So how do you use trees to make materials? It's tricky. We take that carbon that's been sequestered into wood and we convert the wood into the building blocks that can be used to make all sorts of materials. Most of the materials around you are built out of carbon. That carbon has almost always come from below the ground. But there are other places that carbon can be found. In the atmosphere, in the air. The best way that we know to pull that carbon out of the air and out of the atmosphere is using photosynthesis. Trees do a fantastic job of it. So plastic is one of the most important materials that we use as humans. It's, it goes in medical devices, it goes in food packaging. So if plastic is important, but we don't want to make it out of petroleum, then what? Perhaps the right answer is to be making plastic out of resources that grow sustainably. Plastics have two major problems. They have a beginning of life problem, and they have an end of life problem. At the beginning of their life, they produce carbon emissions. That's a real issue. And at the end of their life, they end up in places that they shouldn't be. We address the first. We take that beginning of life problem, the production of emissions, and we turn it into a solution. Our building blocks can be used in plastics, automotive applications like tires, agriculture, textiles, apparel. We need to treat plastic a lot more carefully. We need to get a lot smarter about it. How it's made, how we use it, and where it ends up. All three matter.